Hey, welcome back. I thought it'd be fun to take you along on another bullet journal spread. I wanted to do another one with pictures. I got these from unsplash.com. I actually use their app and I just favorite a lot of pictures and then I go through and find ones that, you know, kind of go together. This one, it's a lot of blues and yellows and greens and they just kind of, I threw them together and they worked. So I printed them on cardstock and then cut them out. Usually I use my HP sprocket printer where it just prints them as little stickers, but this time I needed it to be matte so that I could draw on them because I wanted to draw on the pictures. And now I'm repositioning the pictures a million places and here I finally got them how I wanted. I just play around with it until I like it. I tried to use this Tombow, you know, tape stuff, but I could not, it kept messing up. So then I just went back to my trusty glue and that's okay. Sometimes after I position them, I take a picture to make sure that I remember how I placed them. But this time I just kind of took them off as I went so that they were already in their place, but I just glued them back where they were. When it comes to picking out the pictures, I am no expert. I'm not always, I just, I try to look for certain colors in each picture that flow well together and then making sure not to put the ones that are too dark next to each other. I try to mix it up, do the light ones, distribute the light blue in the corners with the different pictures. And I just got these paint pens because I kept, I u I've i used white pens before, just normal pens, but they didn't always work. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a tiny little paint pen. And I really like this. It came with a bunch of white ones and then I think some gold ones and black, I'll link them below. But here I'm just outlining the plant on this picture to give it an extra oomph, you know what I mean? And then I do that on the other so that they all flow together and kind of have the same style. I like the look of writing over pictures, but I, no words came to mind. I had nothing to say, I guess. So I just outlined, always add some stars, that always makes it cuter. And then to add some more layers and texture, I decided to write this on a separate piece of paper. It was actually the scraps for when I cut out the other pictures, so keep those. You can use them for other stuff. And um, I did that with my Tombow marker, and then I cut them out. And again, I picked out a color that kind of stood out to me in all the other photos, like a, that warm brownie yellow. Brownie? Yes. Okay, we'll go with that. Brownie yellow. I also wrote this on a separate sheet of paper and cut it out so because I couldn't fit those words in that tiny little space and that's where I wanted it to go. So this way it looks cooler and it fit. And then I'm outlining it like I outlined all the other pictures so that kind of tied in and this adds some black. There's a lot of black and darkness in the other photos so this ties it all together. I just thought of this now, but the Happy Planner sticker book that I've been using, I'll link it below too. They have sticker, like letters that you could color in and then stick on here. I could have done that as well and it would have had the same effect if you don't want to write it yourself. Ah, oh, the trusty stickers. So I color these in to match. I pull out all the colors in the photos that I see um, and then stick them on, baby. I'm using my Tombow markers and then some Copic markers to color these in and obviously like you can use any markers that's just those are the ones i have on hand and that i like the most and that i have the most colors of i usually only use tombow markers but if i have a copic marker that matches or is the color i need i'll use that i don't i didn't buy copic markers to do this you know somebody one time was like why the heck are you using those expensive markers for your bullet journal and i was like mm, okay let's calm down but also i just needed that color so you gotta do what you gotta do I also like to throw on some random stickers, layer over the pictures and fill in spots that need to be filling. And then this part, I'm just drawing a little notepad. And now I'm filling in what I need to, writing some little notes. I write down my orders on this. So that's what it's for, my week of orders. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching.